Were you ever notified that someone who owes you for past invoices is no longer able to pay? Well then in that case, you should watch this video, Writing Off Uncollectible Invoices. If you have any questions about this topic, you can leave them in the comments section below and I'll do my best to help you. And of course, if you feel the video helped you, I hope you will click like and don't forget to subscribe to get updates on new videos that come out all the time. This video is a bonus video that was added to the course after the fact by popular demand. I originally did not put this as part of the course because I assumed it was safer to have an accountant write off the invoices that are uncollectible. But if many self-employed people wish to write them off and record them by themselves, I'm happy to add this to the end of the course. Just keep in mind, this is not a follow-along step-by-step video. It's not part of the continuous story. It was just added to the course after the fact, and it's only a demonstration. But you should be able to learn from this demonstration and apply it to your own books and records. When you write off a customer's balance, it's usually because you have determined that a customer's balance is uncollectible. Usually it's for some reason like bankruptcy, or they became disabled or passed away, or some other reason that prevents you from collecting on those invoices. The invoices remain in your records unpaid. So how do you remove them? Well, the name of the deductible expense that this situation creates is called bad debt expense and it is a legitimate business expense that decreases your net income on your profit and loss statement. So what happens when you write off a customer's invoice? Well, accounts receivable, where all customers' balances are held, will decrease because you no longer have the customer's balances as part of accounts receivable. And the expense that you can deduct from your taxes for clients who owe you for services that never paid, that's called bad debt expense and that will increase for each of the client's invoices that you write off. Now there are two ways to write off a customer's invoice. You could make a journal entry or you could use the accountant's toolbox. If you choose to use the accountant's toolbox to write off an invoice, you must be either logged in as the accountant user in your QuickBooks Online account, or you must be using the accountant's edition of QuickBooks Online in order to get to the accountant's toolbox. So first let's look at the trial balance that I set up, and you can see there are only two numbers here just to make this demonstration very simple. The accounts receivable is the total of all open invoices. We can go back to the open invoice report and we can see three customers have two invoices each for a thousand dollars just to make the money amounts nice and round so the demonstration is easy to understand. So here's our example. Let's imagine on May 6th of 2020, we determine that Priya the procrastinator cannot pay. Now you will notice in her account, she has two invoices for $1,000 each. And the first demonstration will be using the accountant's toolbox to write off the earlier one. Again, remember that the trial balance has no bad debt expense now, and has accounts receivable at 6000 But after we do this, accounts receivable will go down to 5000 because I'm only going to write off one invoice using the accountant's toolbox. And when we come back to the open invoice report, we will see that invoice will be gone from Priya's balance. 
we click the accountants toolbox assuming you're using the accountants edition or logged in as the accountant user and we click write off invoices now we choose the date to be a custom date and we choose May oh, excuse me May 6th of 2020 after you set the date click refresh and here are the invoices that appear all the invoices before this date now we want to remove just this one uh, the thousand dollars see now both of Priya's are um, uncollectible but I only want to use one to show you how the accountants edition would work so the name of the expense this is our chart of accounts and I already put in the chart of, an, uh, of accounts an account called bad debt which is an expense so you simply select the invoice that is uncollectible and make sure you choose the proper expense account you could choose the one that QuickBooks Online gave you or you could make your own but this is where you would choose the account so after I click preview and write off the trial balance will show accounts receivable has decreased down to five thousand and one thousand dollars will show up for the first time in bad debt expense click preview and write off and then click write off okay now it says the write off is complete we close and you see now it's gone and now when I click reports and go to the open invoice report Priya only has one invoice left because the other one has been written off what is the consequence to that well if we click reports and we go to the trial balance you can see that bad debt expense showed up for the first time as 1000 and accounts receivable has decreased from a moment ago when it was 6000 it is now down to 5000 if you are not logged in as the accountant user or using the accountants edition of QuickBooks Online then you must write off the invoices by using a journal entry you must know how to make journal entries and you can watch videos that I have made on this very website in order to do that and you must know that you have to include the customers name on the same line as the accounts receivable account when you make the journal entry and when you make the journal entry you're not finished after you make the journal entry you have to then apply the journal entry to the invoice in the receive payment window so let's take a look at how you would do it if you're not using the accountants tool you would have to click new and you'd have to go all the way to the right and go down where it says journal entry now we agreed that the day that we're writing it off is May 6th of 2020 and we know that it is the accounts receivable account that is decreasing and we have to choose the specific customer so we choose Priya we also have to know the amount that we're writing off because with the accountants tool you can choose the specific invoice and it knows the amount but if you're making a journal entry you have to remember the amount and you can even write off two at once and put the amount for two at once but we're only going to do one so it's a thousand dollars that we're decreasing Priya's account and accounts receivable and the balancing account is bad debt okay we can get to bad debt here we go so bad debt expense will increase by a thousand dollars for this other invoice that we're writing off and it will become two thousand in the trial balance and accounts receivable will decrease from five thousand to four thousand and Priya will have a zero balance click save and new and now when we take a look at the trial balance you can see accounts receivable decreased to four thousand 
because we just lowered it by the invoice that we wrote off from Priya and bad debt expense increased to 2000 but the interesting thing is on the open invoice report notice it lists both the invoice and the journal entry and even though Priya's balance is zero the invoice or the invoices that we wrote off with the journal entry will still show up on the open invoice report until we use the receive payment window to apply the journal entry to the invoice. We click new, receive payment, we choose the customer, notice QuickBooks remembers the date, now notice we have an invoice and a journal entry and they're checked off meaning we're applying the journal entry to the invoice so QuickBooks automatically place the check marks to assume that the invoice will be applied to the journal entry and the most important thing to note is make sure the amount received is zero so the check mark is next to the invoice and the journal entry and make sure it says amount received zero before you click save and new and now finally Priya has completely disappeared from the open invoice report because one invoice was written off in the accountants tool the other one was written off in a journal entry and the journal entry was applied to the invoice and that would be the way to write off invoices if you're not using the accountants toolbox